Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today I am bringing you my winter fragrance recommendations of 2023. I'm very, very excited to kick this off. I've got some amazing recommendations for you guys. As always, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe, hit the bell, come and follow me over on my socials, especially TikTok if you want fragrance recommendations. I upload to TikTok every single day. I do a bit of a mix. Fragrance, beauty, fashion, but on TikTok it's mainly fragrance. Anyway, I am rambling, I am gonna get straight into this. I'm going to start off with my newest fragrance purchase and I am so in love with this fragrance. It is Lilian de Chanel. This is by far my favorite ever fragrance from Chanel, ever. That is a bold claim. This fragrance is an absolute masterpiece. It blows me away. It really is a beast, like the name suggests. It really takes you on a journey, so let's start at the beginning. This fragrance opens up with a brightness from some lemon and bergamot, but it's contrasted by this sort of deeper, darker tone, which intensifies as we move through the fragrance. That darker tone is coming from labdanum, which is really the star of the show in this fragrance. It is really rich, it's carnal, it's resinous, it's got this sort of slight dirty feel to it. It's absolutely incredible. It has a warm ambery quality to it, a little bit of a chocolatey patchouli, kind of a bit like the patchouli that's in Coromandel from Chanel. This fragrance to me smells like you're on your way to a party in the middle of Paris, you're wearing a floor length fur coat, stilettos, a red lip, and you're ready to take on the world. This fragrance is truly incredible. It's very refined. I would not recommend this to anybody who's just starting out on their fragrance journey. It is, like I said, it's quite carnal, it's very complex, but if you are a fan of incredible perfumery, you absolutely need to try this fragrance if you haven't already. Next I have Musk Moshus from Rania J. This fragrance is such a gorgeous, sweet, sugary, creamy, fluffy musk fragrance. I absolutely adore it. I find it really cocooning and comforting. It's a very clean, fluffy musk. It's rounded out by sandalwood and vanilla, which sort of adds to the creaminess of the musk. Iris adds a slight powdery touch. There's a little bit of fruitiness that's coming from some black currant. This fragrance smells like a warm hug from an absolutely stunning woman. That is what this smells like to me. I am in love with this. You could honestly wear this any time of year, but I just find this so cocooning, which is why I like it for winter. But I have a discount code with this brand, which you can use. I'm gonna link all of these fragrances, as always, in the description box for you, along with any discount codes that I have. Next, I have Oh The Audacity from Penhaligans. Love the name. This is one of five that Penhaligans recently launched into their Potions and Remedies collection. I love the whole concept of that collection. Each one is supposed to evoke a different feeling. This one is supposed to evoke a feeling of confidence. I love this fragrance so much. It's my personal favourite from the collection for winter. It's a deep, smoky vanilla and incense fragrance. Saffron plays really nicely in this fragrance. It adds a really refined feeling. It's got a black pepper note and it really is a bold, sensual fragrance. It's smooth, it's sweet, it's delicious. It has a lot of character. This would be so perfect for a winter date night. If you are one of the people who last year got really annoyed with me when I kept on mentioning YSL Baby Cat and how much I loved it. It's still quite difficult to get hold of. If you're one of those people, definitely try this out because it does have a similar sort of feel. It doesn't smell the same, but it has that similar sort of smoky vanilla thing going on, which is just stunning. Guys, the way I live and breathe for this next fragrance, it is Serge Luton Ecran de Fume. This fragrance is the most sensual, dark, glam, femme fatale fragrance. I love this for an evening out. This is so incredible. It is the most gorgeous, dark, deep, rich, boozy, chocolatey tobacco fragrance. 
It is absolutely incredible. It has a sweetness to it, but it's not overly sweet. It just smells like a night out. What I love about this fragrance actually is that the boozy note in it, it's got a boozy rum note and that note stays prominent throughout the entire wear of the fragrance. With a lot of fragrances that have a boozy quality, I do find that that sort of lasts throughout the beginning and the mid, but not so much into the base of the fragrance. Whereas in this fragrance, it lasts throughout the entire wear. And I love that. It just smells naughty to me, like a naughty night out. This is inspired by hedonism and excess, and that is what it is giving. I love this so much. It is incredible. Next I have Lancome La Via Belle L'Extra. This is such a great release from Lancome. I love it so much. This is a gorgeous, sweet, powdery iris fragrance with a sort of fruity berry feel and then this soft oud wood accord underneath everything. This is like La Via Belle's older, more luxurious sister. The iris here plays beautifully with a plush rose note. This is, like I said, it's got this luxurious quality to it, but it's still playful and very feminine. I love this. Next up, I have Honey Dragon from Memo Paris. This is a Selfridges exclusive. It is absolutely incredible. It is a smooth, honeyed vanilla fragrance with a spiciness to it from some cinnamon and black pepper. It's got an ambery quality and it has a freshness. It has this sort of luminous quality to it. To me, this smells like a vision of sunbeams radiating down on a cold winter's day. It's just warm and luminous and I absolutely love it. It is incredible. Next up I have another musk fragrance. This is completely different to the last one that I showed you though. This one is very fresh. I feel like I'm just drawn to musk fragrances at this time of year. Again, you could wear this at any time of year. It doesn't have to be a winter fragrance, but it's just very cocooning and comforting, which I seem to be drawn to in the colder weather. And this one is a stunning creamy musk fragrance. And it's got this lovely powdery iris in here. You know I love a good iris note in a fragrance. I just think it's such a stunning note. And this has cedar, it has some pink pepper. This to me smells like the color white. It smells like it's been snowing all night and you walk outside and there's just untouched snow everywhere and it just feels so pure. That is what this fragrance feels like to me. It is absolutely beautiful perfect for every day. I do get a similarity to um, Glossier U, to be honest, but I find this to be much more refined. I enjoy this a lot more. And for a musk fragrance, this lasts a really long time. It projects really well as well. I get complimented on this. It's quite new to my collection. I just got it last week, but I've been receiving compliments. And yeah, if you like your musk fragrances like me, definitely check this one out. Next, I have another vanilla. You guys know I love a good vanilla fragrance in the colder weather. This is Entrance by Andrea Mack. I love this fragrance. It's such a beautiful, ambery vanilla fragrance, but it has this woodiness, which is coming from vetiver, patchouli, and cedar. So it has this very sort of unisex feel, but it is it does have a sweetness to it. This has a spiciness to it from saffron and nutmeg. This, to me, smells like a person who is just effortlessly chic. It does. It smells like a cool girl or a cool guy. I just absolutely love it. I feel like it has character, but it's also very wearable. Next up is a bit of a fragrance combo, and it is Kayali Oudgasm, Tobacco Oud, and Vanilla Oud. I wear these separately as well, but layered. They are incredible. So the Tobacco Oud is a sweet, syrupy tobacco fragrance with Oud. Obviously, the Oud is more intense than in the other fragrances in this range. It does have an ever so slight animalic quality, but I do still think this is still very wearable. And it's just, this to me, it smells like 
a shisha bar. It really does have this fruity, powdery, tobacco thing going on with a base of oud. I love it. And then I love layering the vanilla oud over the top. This is a gorgeous, creamy, spiced vanilla. And to be honest, this smells so festive to me. It's just the holidays in a bottle for me. I absolutely love it. And layered together, they are incredible. Leave me a comment and let me know if you have any winter fragrance recommendations for me because I love it when you give me recommendations. Have you tried any of the ones that I've mentioned? What do you think of them? Are you excited to get your nose on any of them? Let me know and I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Give it a cheeky little thumbs up as always if you did and hopefully I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!